What up, everybody? This is Big Elbow coming at you today with the Toys and Children's Book Saturday Morning Special. Basically, uh, I'm going to show the toys I've been buying recently and the children's books that I've been picking up for my granddaughter, Honey, a.k.a. the Honey Badger, for her little bookshelf. And um, I'm going to show the toys first and the children's books last. So make it easier if you're only interested in one and not the other. A little easier for you to um, separate if you want to. If not, try and watch and enjoy the whole thing. If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you're not new to the channel, welcome back. And let's get into it by looking at some toys. And first off, let me just say, um, Big Elbow's not a hardcore, hardcore toy collector. Um, so bear with me if I don't know the proper terms and, and all that kind of stuff. I'm not far, like I said, I'm far from an expert. I'm just a guy that likes buying toys. I used to love buying toys for my son. Um, but as he got older, you know, stopped buying the toys. Started buying toys again when I when I figured it wouldn't be too long before I'd have grandkids. And sure enough, um, now I have one. So all these toys are basically, I'm hoping, will eventually get opened by either my granddaughter or hopefully I have a bunch more grandkids. Um, hopefully my son and, and his lovely girlfriend can pump out a bunch more grandkids for, for me and uh, and and the grandma, Big Baby Mama. So uh, anyways, so I got this bazooka at Ross. They've been having a lot of these G.I. Joe classifieds, nice $6 price. And this is just a cool figure, man. Um, I like that box art right there too. But yeah, these G.I. Joe classifieds have been showing up at, at Ross a lot lately. I've been picking them up. I probably got about six now. And not much to see on the back. This is a Tiger Force, I guess. Um, again, I'm not an expert, so you guys who collect G.I. Joes, let me know what's the difference between Tiger Force. I mean, it says classified also, so I don't know what the difference. Again, fill me in. I, I, I'm, I'm not sure what that means. Uh, here's another G.I. Joe classified. But this is a Cobra. And this is Copperhead. Um... I believe he drove a vehicle. Like he was a figure that came with a vehicle in the original G.I. Joe line. Another uh, $6 buy. This one has, I don't like this uh, without the plastic window. I'm probably gonna end up opening it up just to make sure it's in there, you know? Not a big, uh, just blindly faith, blind faith kind of guy. Looks like he has some pretty cool weapons. Not a lot, but just uh, the basics of a machete. That's a nice, uh, nice big revolver with a scope on it and a small pistol. See, so, yeah, I, I thought this figure looks cool. I'm probably gonna open this one myself just to, um, like I said, make sure everything's in, make sure it's in there. And then next up, I got um, McFar McFarlane gold label see again I don't know what the I guess that means he designed it himself but what the fuck man it's it's Catwoman from the Batman like what the fuck did you design it's from the movie <coughs> show some other figures that come in the series but I can't even cannot fucking see what they are maybe I'm just blind it looks like a Batman a Riddler and a Batman motorcycle that's a pretty cool uh, picture of the figure. And that one had a $5 price tag. I've been buying a lot of toys lately, but man, these prices, I can't I can't help myself. Um, next up, uh, looks like the Uncanny X-Men Avalanche. It looks like it's from based on the cartoon, but I could be could be mistaken. But I just thought that was a cool looking figure. I wonder if his helmet comes off. It looks like it. Man, I would love to get that long shot. And oh, that spiral looks dope too. 
All those look really cool, man. Like even that Wolverine in that uh, you know in that uniform. I liked it when the when the X Men went back to those uniform, went back to a uniform, and they used those yellow and blue ones for a little bit. Jim reminds me of uh, his dad. That is during the era when Jim Lee was drawing it. See, that looked cool, especially, and that's a five ninety nine. That long shot, spiral, and that Wolverine, man. Fucking basically all of them, but in that order. No, you know, I think I might like that. Sp I might like that spiral better than long shot. I don't know. I just see him in person. That is a cool Wolverine too, and multiple men. And then uh, this Fantastic Four, the High Evolutionary. I don't know if this is also based on the. It looks like the Fantastic Four old cartoon. But that's just a dope figure, I thought. I don't really know much about the High Evolutionary. I have some... I have the Thor comics with his first appearance that I, I should read pretty soon. Probably next Thursday. And all those figures look cool, too, including Psycho Man. Well, Psycho Man and The Thing are the ones I'd want. I don't really care about Mr. Fantastic. Or Sue or Johnny Storm, really. I guess the Human Torch looks all right give you a little uh, synopsis of the character there, that's cool. So yeah, that's that. And I got one more. This is the Masters of the Universe Stridor. I don't know, I was, I was really uh, surprised to see the... Um, $5.99 price tag on that. And like I said, I really don't buy toys that don't look like they'd be fun to play with. And the original Stridor was looked cool, but probably wasn't all that much fun to play with. But this one, uh, it is because it was like just it didn't move at all. It was just stationary. And this one, you can bend, you can bend the legs. It looks like it comes with two helmets. Um, yeah, so like you can actually play with this one. Now, and it is a retro figure, so it's not made for those new Masters of the Universe figures. I gotta get some more of these uh, retros. I think I have, like, one. I do have a Bam Batman and a He-Man um, that are built like uh, like Masters of the Universe, so that would, I'm sure would fit into it. So that's it for the, um, for the toy haul. Um, again... If you're not into the children's books, uh, thank you for watching, but you can tune out now if you'd like. If not, stick around and appreciate it. Uh, so these are the newest additions to the Honey Badger's bookshelf. And I buy these basically, same way I buy my comics, like I try and get them at the best prices that I can, regardless of where I find them. Um, these are all, these were from the 98 cent store. And they have these little... Did I show these already? If I did, I don't think I showed all of them. And as you go through them, they have more of these, like, push and pull things, which I, I think is cool. It makes Those are a lot of fun to, when you're when you're a kid. <coughs> Excuse me. This one is a fast and slow. So yeah, these were all at the, um, that's pretty cool. These were all at the 98 cent store, which hardly anything is 98 cents anymore, so they're probably like $1.50. But yeah, so this one is up and down with Spidey. Oh, I guess it was probably more than that, but this is fast and slow. This is push and pull. And this is dick and slide. If I did show those in the last ones, forgive me. I'm sorry about that. Try not to make that mistake again. And then these ones I got from the Dollar Tree. And these are just some Sesame Street books. A snack for Oscar. Good morning, Sesame Street. And these have a... 
I don't know if they have a retail price on them. I don't know what they sold these for originally. But uh, there's Let's Take a Walk and Good Night Sesame Street. So those, those Marvel books had a retail price of uh, $6.99, so that's a pretty, pretty decent deal. I'm glad I didn't pay that much for them. And I like these, both of those books, because, uh, you know, my little honey, my little honey badger's still, she's little, and she's already a little bit rough, so these are pages that she could just tear out, I mean, she could bend them, but they're pretty thick, um, pretty thick, like, cardboard type. But these will be, have to be for the little badger when she gets older, um, this one is Dumbo, Friends in High Places. Take these out the bags. This, had, like I said, this would have to be for when she gets a little older. Yeah, these are basically straight up comics, They're like a little graphic novel. <coughs> Sorry about that. <clears throat> Here's another Disney um, Zootopia. And that's, uh, you know, this one is a hard, this is a, that's, um, whatchamacallit, soft cover. This is a um, hard, hard cover. And this one um, looks maybe a little bit lower reading level. Or maybe. I don't know, maybe. But this one does go like more. This does go to a like comic book graphic novel style. And then, uh, let's see, sticking with the Disney. This looks really cool. And this is like, uh, like, um, I don't even know what you call it. It's like, it's not, it's hard, it's hard cover, but like it's padded, I guess you'd say. So this is Star Wars Galactic Storybook. And I guess it's probably like a chapter like little stories yeah look at it so you got a Jedi tale a new adventure the battle continues against all odds new heroes for the galaxy the final fight so this is more in like a storybook um, format this will be fun to read to her and so you're starting with um the Phantom Menace stuff. Let's see, you got some looks like Revenge of the Sith action right there. And then you get to A New Hope. And then let's see if it gets to The Force Awakens. Oh yeah, there's um, Return of the Jedi. Hopefully I can turn that little honey badger into a Star Wars fan. Somehow, and there's uh, The Force Awakens. Somehow, um, her dad, my son, never got into Star Wars, which is surprising. I mean, it was always around. Always, you know. We always, we have, we do a Star Wars de Mayo party. And anyways, uh, yeah, he never got into it, surprisingly. But hopefully I can get the little badger into it. And then this is, uh, this is, looks like a Scholastic Reader book, and that's a Star Wars lightsaber. Hold on. Star Wars lightsabers, and that's a soft cover. A guide to the weapons, to the weapons of the Force. 
And it says, uh, they're bold, they're bright, they're unmistakable weapons of the Force. Discover how lightsabers are constructed from the inside out. Then learn the stats and the stories behind them. 25 of the most notable lightsabers and 10 of the most famous duels in Jedi history. So that's cool. It's definitely for an older kid. But it'll be waiting for her when she gets older. That's not going to stand up. And then the rest of these are... Uh, get that out of the way. The rest of these are little golden from the little golden book series. You got... Um, the Wasp, Small and Mighty, Low Key, and back to some Star Wars. Star Wars, I Am a Hero. Star Wars, I Am a Jedi. DC Super Friends, The Flash. Those are the little golden books, and then I got um, DC Supergirls. That's uh, reading step three. Reading on your own. So that's for definitely for an older kid. Uh, Welcome to Superhero High. Yeah, let's see if that. Who it with shiny stickers. A kid doesn't like stickers, right? Or shit, I like stickers. Oh man, I hope. I, I was just thinking I made it through the whole video without cousin. I can maybe I can make this one kid friendly, but I couldn't help myself, I guess. So this looks like it is in the storybook format and not like a graphic novel. Yeah, so you know, one one picture and then some words. That's cool. For a young reader, this one. I think the Badger, she's pretty sharp, pretty sharp little girl. I think uh, she'll probably pick up reading pretty young. I need to read to her more though. And even if she can't read, <clears throat> we got a wordless graphic novel, Looney Tunes Rabbit on the Run. Looks like the tortoise and the hare, good old, good old story. Let's see if there's anything on the back here. Okay, so ready to read preschool kindergarten, reading with help, preschool grade one. So this is a reading on your own, grades one through three. So that's not gonna be for a while, but I bet she'll be she'll be reading ahead of her level. So sometimes you could just tell. Oh, this is cool. Look at how to read a, a wordless graphic novel. Shows you the characters, how to read it. And this is kind of like in a, this is like a, basically a silent issue in, out of a from a comic. So that's pretty cool. Looks like we're things up a notch. We know what's best for what's the so yeah, that's it for uh, the Honey Badger's bookshelf and the Saturday morning special. Um, if you enjoyed, congratulations, you got good taste. Join me next time we do one of these. And uh, <clears throat> share with your friends, comments, questions. All that feedback is greatly appreciated. Um, man, I wish I need to learn how to edit so I can make these kids friendly. Um, but I don't know, I can't help myself. I, I just cuss too much. Anyways, um, so I won't say my, <laughs> my normal sign off, uh, but um, I will say, um, oh, check out my IG in the description. Check out my partner Warlock's channel. Uh, I will say, get off of YouTube, play with some toys, and read some freaking kids' books. 